Hello, hello, Susan Jeremiah Friendly Avon representative. I wanted to do this earlier in the day and um, but didn't get around to it. And um, yeah, it was kind of I've been kind of wondering what to say or how to say it so as not to hurt people's feelings. And then I realized <laughs> all this time I've been doing that walk and talk. And um, yeah, you know, and in saying that I'm not sure why I've been worrying and procrastinating because somebody probably needs to hear this and by me procrastinating it's uh, delayed uh, someone from being encouraged this earlier today because remember I've been talking about how whatever we say and do there will always be people who are for us and there will be some who will be against us and we have to learn not to worry about those who don't support us. So here goes. Uh, I wanted to sing O Canada for you guys to remind you of uh, some of the things in the song. Oh Canada, our home and native land, true patriot love in all thy sons command with glowing hearts we see thee rise the true nor strong and free from far and wide o canada we stand on god for thee god keep our land glorious and free oh Canada we stand on God for thee oh Canada we stand on God for thee I hope you are encouraged just a cappella and uh, something to remind you is that God is always working for our good even when we don't feel it or see it well, that's something I've been saying in all my walk and talks and um, that God has great plans for our life now um, some of us are celebrating Canada Day with uh, joy some with sadness some with regret some with unforgiveness Today I especially want to talk about unforgiveness because that is something that's very important. I'm going to just turn around and sit down. Um, one of the things that I'm learning is that it is very, very important that we practice forgiveness because when we don't forgive, we're actually just hurting ourselves. And the Bible teaches that and uh, just from experience right because when you don't forgive those who have hurt you whether they know it or they don't it's like drinking red poison and expecting the other person to die and most of us do that often without thinking uh, because we want to hide from the pain and we have to know that if you want to have healing, you have to forgive and forget. And uh, you have to release that hurt. And, uh, you know, some, for some people, they may need to write it out and then burn the paper. But you just have to get it out of your system. Because if you don't get it out of your head, your head your mind will play it back over and over again and when anything gets played back over and over again it renews the hurt and that's not healthy but most of us do that all the time that's why we we pass away with regret most people leave this earth with a lot of regret that's something I am working on to let go of the regret. Um, well, I don't want to leave the world with regret anyway. So I'm trying to 
live in the present to be present in the present the past is gone yes uh, I, if I wanted to be angry and upset and riled up <laughs> with anger there are a lot of things I can do uh, uh, to, to, to bring up the hurt every day and to have unforgiveness but um, some of you know what's happened but uh, some of you don't and that's okay you don't need to know the whole story one day maybe I will share it or sometimes I might share it with some people I think who can handle it um, but I am learning that I need to let go because when I let go then you feel the release and uh, and you need God's help for that you do because when you can let go and I might be repeating myself you will feel much better you're not dragging all the baggage and hurt around with you you need to release it so if you are listening and you are feeling hurt angry discouraged worried take some time to release it as I said for some people you need to just write it out and then burn the paper <laughs> because you just got to get it out of your system so I'm hoping that this encourages someone today someone needed to hear this I have been procrastinating <laughs> and uh, was convicted that I need to do it it's it's not the, the most happy joyful story that I usually uh, talk about but it is something that needs to be done and um, we all need to work through it so I pray that you'll be able to release the hurt release the regret and the important thing is to focus on the present, to enjoy the moments that you have, and to plan for a brighter future. You need to release, let it go, and start fresh. That's the best way to go. So, may you experience God's amazing love, peace, and joy today. Take some time to reflect on God's goodness. Take some time to write down everything that's caused you hurt and release it. Till next time, have a great day. Have a great evening. It's nice, it's a lot nicer right now. It was so hot this to during the day and it's it's nice and cool right now. So may you be encouraged. Know that God loves you. God cares for you. Everything that's happened in your life is preparing you for your future. And uh, you write your story. You write your own life story. So it depends on how you react. Well, you should not be reacting because that's not good either. right? But you need to stop and pause. Whenever you feel angry, upset, um, pause and ask yourself, why am I thinking about that now? What is causing that hurt and how can I release it so that I can have peace? So that I can move on and enjoy a better life. And then take some time to plan how you want to live your life. A lot of us don't plan um, how we want our future to look like. We just kind of go through the days, one day at a time, just, just passing by. We're not actually planning. So I'm learning um, that it is important to plan. And, uh, you know, work through the plan one day at a time. To be gentle with myself. So be gentle with yourself because some of us... Um, you know, we are so hard on ourselves and we need to be gentle with ourselves. So, um, 
I'm hoping that you'll be encouraged by this message. Just be gentle with yourself. Take some time for some healing. And uh, may you have a peaceful night and a good sleep. God bless you.